Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Over the past year, I have pretty much documented my journey with Botox, but today I am trying an alternative. I'm here at Grace Belgravia with Dr. Malik. Thank you so much for seeing me today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming. So you're a qualified GP. Yes. Give us a little bit of your background. So I started my aesthetic practice about seven years ago and it was really because I couldn't find what I wanted for myself and what I was looking for was a non-injectable approach to skin rejuvenation. So I was 30 when I started my practice and I thought I was too young for Botox or filler but that was all any of the cosmetic doctors in London offered at the time. So um, I went to the States and did some more training and really wanted to look for treatments that worked. So a step up on a standard spa facial um, and delivered results and really, you know, made a long-term difference to skin health, but without being too invasive. I'm also very conservative in my approach and very holistic. So, you know, I like to, um, you know, think of beauty as, as being from the inside out. So it's about working on what's going on on the inside. So looking at your gut, nutrition, lifestyle, all of that I think affects your skin. All I do is Botox, but... You know, Botox is only really, it's the eyes in here, so nothing from here down. So it doesn't change the texture or the look of my skin. And this is right. where I think what you do is so important and to feed it and to... Yeah, I mean, I think that's exactly right. And I think people are more aware now that you have to look at your skin and, you know, your overall face holistically. So the injectables are not going to change the quality of your skin. So even though you can have, you know, a bit of Botox to take away sort of dynamic lines or you can have filler for volume, um, it's not going to change the tone or texture of your skin. So if you want to be able to walk out of the house without wearing any foundation, and if you want really good quality skin, then you need the sort of treatments that I do. And you are a walking advertisement because you have such beautiful skin. Oh, thank you. That's how I want to look. <laughs> You're very kind. I mean, I try everything on myself and, you know, if, it, if I don't think it works, then I don't do it. And I have very sensitive skin. So that's the other thing. You know, I want to be able to offer treatments that have minimal downtime, but that achieve results and that people can actually realistically fit into their long-term maintenance schedules. So what are you doing with my skin today? Right. So today we're doing a customized peel and it's a, it's a light to medium depth peel, so nothing too intense. But the difference between, say, a lot of the, um, the more aggressive and glycolic acid based peels is that what I'm doing for you is a combination of three different acids. So some lactic acid from milk and mandelic acid from almonds and malic acid from apples. And what that combination does is a, a number of different things, but primarily focusing on brightening and stimulating collagen. Everything I try and do is really geared towards the patient, so everyone's skin's different. So what we want to do is um, it should be based on what your skin needs. And when we do the pictures and when I run through your medical history, then I can really um, you know, make a good assessment about what would work well for you. Well, I'm really excited and I have never had a peel before. Great, well, I'm happy that we get to do one today. Let's get started. Put your head in the scanner so we can take some images and then I'm gonna talk you through it and we'll be able to see what's happening with your skin. So I just need your chin over there for me and if you just lean into the machine yeah and close your eyes and then there's going to be three flashes so you can relax this looks at a number of different aspects in the skin so um, we can look at red areas which reflect inflammation brown spots uv spots which reflect um sort of sun damage previous uv exposure and then we can also look at things like lines wrinkles texture pore size um, so one of the ones that I like to start with is the UV damage. So this is sort of your, your history of past sun exposure. So having grown up in Australia, you know, you, you will have had quite a lot of sun exposure over the years. And that's where you can sort of see these darker areas which uh, reflect the melanin, which is the, the darker pigment in the skin. And although you can't see all of that, when, when I look at you with the naked eye, there is obviously some underneath the surface. And so our goal is to prevent that from getting worse and then to treat it and maintain it and um, reduce it as much as possible. This is a different filter, but it shows the melanin deposition. So you can see the darker brown areas where you've had some, some sun damage, sort of tops of the cheeks and top of the nose, forehead tend to be common places. Just a little bit irritated around um, 
around the nose. This image shows um, pore size and so obviously as we get older pore size increases because the collagen and elastin around the base of the gland gets weaker and so your, your gland, the opening of sebaceous gland which is what a pore is, um, starts to look a little bit bigger so what you want to do is stimulate collagen and elastin to make that look a little bit smaller and that's what the treatment that we're going to do today is also going to help with. So what we're going to do today is the face and neck and then I'm also doing an eye peel. So that's primarily to help with fine lines and under eye darkness. When um, I'm thinking about treatments that are alternatives to injectables, I think there's, there's a few different um, modalities and you know I would say the top three are Things like peels, um, which help to rejuvenate the skin. Procedures such as microneedling, which help to stimulate collagen and elastin. And then you have laser treatments, which um, work in a different way to help achieve the same sort of result. The peel that I'm going to be doing today works in two ways. So it offers some exfoliation. It also then works to stimulate um, collagen and elastin. So you are working on improving skin tone and texture by exfoliating and then stimulating new skin cells and in particular collagen and elastin. I'm just going to cover your eyes. I'm going to start to put on the first layer of peel mask. So this is the prep layer. In terms of preparing for this treatment, I would say that you need to avoid using any active ingredients. So vitamin A, any alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acid based products um, for a minimum of two days before. You also shouldn't have any exfoliating treatments for two days before, so no microdermabrasion, um, no microneedling. So this is just taking off any superficial debris, so dead skin cells on the surface and it's really the prep layer for the peel that goes on next. When I apply the peel, the peel is going to stay in the skin for about four hours and then I'm going to give you the cleanser to remove it with and the product to apply afterwards. I'm just putting some pads onto the skin now so they activate the enzymes in the mask. I've just taken off that um, prep layer of the peel mask and now I'm going to start to apply the actual peel. So this is a liquid solution, it's a combination of three different acids and what I'm going to do is I am going to apply it in two steps. So you're going to feel me brushing on a liquid and I'm going to do the right side of the face first. We're going to let that settle down and then I'm going to come over to the left side. So this peels self-neutralizing, so what that means is it penetrates to a certain depth in the skin and then it stops working. So it's very safe, you can't, um, can't burn anyone with this, can't cause any damage so long as it's been prepared correctly. of an antioxidant serum. With your skin, I would use something like emu oil, which is very anti-inflammatory, and particularly good if skin is prone to being dry. I'm gonna apply that on top of this layer of peel. I'm just going to be applying the eye peel. So this is a, a dilute version of the peel that I've used okay. for your face. So I'm just putting a drop of the oil around the eyes just to help the skin heal. This is a treatment that you could do for maintenance anywhere from every four to eight or even 12 weeks. Um, and if you're trying to treat a specific skin issue, so for example, pigmentation or acne scarring, I might recommend a course of treatments that might be closer together. When you're thinking about putting together a regime, whether you do injectables or not, this treatment you know, is going to work on skin tone and texture and to stimulate, to help stimulate collagen. So this treatment's ideal for people who have certain skin concerns, such as um, pigmentation, fine lines, 
um, if they really just want to improve the tone and texture of their skin, people who don't want to feel that they need to wear foundation every day. So I think it's ideal um, for anyone who has those concerns. I'm just putting on some sunscreen now um, and having finished the treatment, it's really important that you just remember a few things for the next few days. So no sauna, steam um, or sweating for the next 48 hours, um, just because that can activate some of the peel in the skin and um, cause sensitivity. And in terms of products, no actives for the next 48 hours. I love that. <laughs> So here I am, it is a week later. You saw how red I was. That calmed down, definitely calmed down within 24 hours. Uh, my skin was quite dehydrated, but I, have, I had a uh, special formula of emu oil that I had to continuously put on my skin. I did get a little breakout on my chin and that is called a detox reaction. It's not common, but I think because mine was pretty clogged and it was full of impurities, it just brought them all out. And a little bit of flaking, but nothing severe. So not a lot of downtime. And now my skin is glowing, it feels hydrated. I definitely feel like my skin is brighter. The texture is better. Uh, will I do it again? Absolutely. I'd love to do it once a month or you know a week before a big event because I can definitely feel and see a glow. So if you are interested in the treatment that I have had done, I will leave Dr. Malik's details in the description so you can contact her directly. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, remember I make lots of other beauty videos, so please subscribe and give this one a little thumbs up. And I also make other videos on paleo and lifestyle, and you can find me on social media at memore.tv.